Hi there, of course, this is Mark Baird, HirePatriots.com. And uh, I just want to talk to you a little bit about blogging and the importance of blogging. Now, some of you uh, may not be uh, uh, real familiar with writing a lot as far as uh, talking about your personal feelings. Now, so I just want to help you a little bit, uh, perhaps to give you some ideas about blogging at first. Uh, you know, you just need to ask yourself a question and then answer it. And the words that are in your head are the words that you want to write down. Uh, I was just talking to a wonderful representative of ours, a leader of ours in Central California, Kathy Cardoza, and it was so funny because she was talking to me and she was telling me, I, I can't think of anything to blog about. <laughs> and yet, yet as she was talking to me, just about everything she was telling me was a fantastic blog. All she needed to do was to turn those words into written words and put them on a blog and send them out through her social networks. Uh, for instance, I asked her, uh, well, what was the very first time that you, uh, you thought about helping the military? And, you know, she, and so she told me that story. And I said, well, that's a blog. And I said, so what's the next thing that happened in your life that made you uh, want to support the military? She told me that story. That's a blog. And I said, so uh, what made you join Higher Patriots? She told me that story. That's a blog. I said, so what's happening with you and Higher Patriots right now? And she told me about how she's been ill, and she just wished she could do so much more for our veterans and for our GIs, and she feels kind of guilty about, you know, not, not working when she was sick and things like this. And, uh, you know, that's a blog. That's a wonderful human interest story. She's being honest. She's sharing her true emotions. The most, uh, the most important thing that I can tell you as far as writing to have people like it is tell the truth. Uh, complete honesty is very, very rare in any form of the media, but if you, the more honest that you can become, the more real you can be, uh, and just share the words that are in your head, um, that's what people will like. And the other thing is to tell a story. And, of course, telling your own personal experience, telling your own story, talking about your own feelings, that's a story. And that's the kind of story that people like. Uh, it's absolutely true that stories sell and facts just tell. And people much rather would uh, read a story. Now, <clears throat> to go a step further, uh, to create a really great blog today, I would suggest doing both things. I would suggest... Uh, uh, talking about it on video and then writing about it underneath the video and putting that on the blog. You, you, you can't really just put a video on your website and expect uh, uh, to get uh, any SEO or, or help from Google because they have to have words. Okay. However, uh, what you want to do when you blog, it doesn't always have to be something that you create yourself. Uh, it can just be something that's entertaining, that's fun, that you know that people are going to like. And so per perhaps it's been published before. doesn't matter. Uh, if, if you join Twitter and Facebook and you go to LinkedIn and you belong to as many groups as you can on LinkedIn, every single one of my regional leaders should belong to a minimum of 50 groups on LinkedIn. And then if you, if you send that interesting story or that funny joke or that great picture or that great video out through all of your social networks, a certain amount of people are going to click onto it. They're going to like it. They're going to send it out to their social networks. A certain amount of those people are going to click onto it, going to like it. They're going to send it out to their social networks. And you start having hundreds of people coming to your website that never would have been there before if you hadn't created that blog. So that's one blog. So what if you started creating 10 blogs a month? Well, that's going to be thousands of people, perhaps, coming to your website that never would have been to your website before. Now, this is just a numbers game. That's what the social networks is. It's just a numbers game. And so you want to attract as many people as you can. You want to uh, have people ask you to join as many groups and as many uh, 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 you know, networks as you possibly can. Uh, now, when I send out a blog, it goes out to many, many tens and tens of thousands of people, at least. Um, uh, LinkedIn sends me emails, and, you know, James Hagerman will be able to explain these better than I, but they send me emails, and, and each time it goes up, and now they're saying that I'm connected to 7 million people through my network on LinkedIn. And so uh, that, that has a lot of power to... Uh, to increase uh, the amount of visitors to HirePatriots.com. And so uh, blog. Every time you blog, it helps all of our websites. 
Now, now this is my vision. I'll close with this, and then I'm going to let Tori talk to you. But uh, <clears throat> I truly believe that HigherPatriots.com has a very unique potential to be among the very top websites in the United States. Now, of course, one of the things I'm trying to do is to help your business. If your business has a HigherPatriots.com website that's in the top 1,000 or 500 websites in the United States, you're going to be getting millions of visitors. It's going to have a dramatic effect upon your bottom line. Well, that's my hope. That's what I want to do for you. But we can't do it unless you participate in social networking and blogging. That's the reason why I created a blog for you. But if we all start blogging, even if all of us only blogged once a week, we now have, I believe, 35 regional leaders and members. That would create so much content uh, on HigherPatriots.com website, and it would attract so many new visitors that you would, every single month, you would see us rise in the rankings, every single month. And so uh, I just want to encourage you to speak from your hearts. So many of you are veterans. Uh, what was the first time in your life that you, that you played war? I mean, writing a blog about playing with the, uh, the kids in the, on the, in the neighborhood, playing war, and using those sticks that you, we used to use. That's a great blog. That's a great story. You realize how many guys are going to identify with that? Uh, telling a story about when you first signed up, you know, uh, you know, your experience at boot camp, whatever it is, your memories, your thoughts, your ideas, that's all valuable stuff. It's stuff that other guys are going to identify with. And so you want to, you want to just be honest. You just want to tell your own stories and you will become very, very popular on the social networks. And uh, it's going to help hire patriots, it's going to help all of us, and it's going to help you individually in your business. So uh, God bless you. Go out there, open up your head, allow the words to come out onto a page, and put it up on your Hire Patriots blog, okay? Thanks so much.